इफ यू समन हुज बिन ट्राइंग टू बिकम एन ए आर क्रिएटर हुज बिन ट्राइंग टू बिकम अ फुल टाइम ए आर क्रिएटर और इफ यू आर समन हुज ट्राइंग टू ट्रांजेशन फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट करियर इन टू बिकमिंग एन ए आर क्रिएटर यू माइट हैव कम अक्रॉस टू टूल्स एस्पेशली इफ यू आर इन इंडिया uh where effect house is not available uh so we'll not talk about effect house as for the purpose of this video the main purpose of this video is to decide between spark ar that is meta spark and lens studio if you are a beginner ar creator who's just getting into ar uh which one should you learn should you learn meta spark or should you learn lens studio i will share with you my story and based on that story i will give you some anecdotal ex- examples and will tell you um in my experience uh, which is a better tool for beginners okay i personally started working as an ar creator almost one and a half two years ago and it all started with a google search when i went you know how doggy filter made and that is when i came across um lens studio first because you know doggy filter snapchat lens studio and lens studio is a software you used to make ar effects for snapchat basically and when i came across lens studio i downloaded it i opened it and i am from a completely non technical non design background i come from a forensics background I actually used to be a forensic examiner and coming to a design background especially ar background when i opened lens studio for the first time i felt very intimidated <laughs> from the ui from the you know, from the all the options from all the settings and i immediately closed it okay i did not touch it for at least 6 to 7 months what did i do i went and i went and got uh, meta spark it was spark ar back then so i got spark ar okay and i started using spark ar started making ar effects and it was very easy for me to start learning spark ar and you know i started having fun i started you know making effects and after a couple of months for you know 4 5 6 months i discovered that a lot of robust uh features that i'm looking for are not in spark ar you know spark ar uh was not enough to make the kind of effects that i was looking to make and that is when i talked to other industry professionals at the other ar creators and they told me you know all these things are in lens studio right so i should learn lens studio uh, and one weekend i sat down I was, and i committed to myself that for for the next 48 hours i'm going to dedicate my time to lens studio i sat down i put my head down and i learned as much as i could in those 48 hours and after those 48 hours i was in love with lens studio okay because lens studio has a lot of robust features the tracking is better the simulation is better and it is very capable software okay and since then i have been lo- using lens studio for most of my work and i get a lot of clients for lens studio as well and from this story what i can tell you is if you are someone who's starting or if you are someone who's a hobbyist who does not want to get into co- making complex effects and just wants to get you know dip your toes get a taste of it learn spark ar meta spark <laughs> learn meta spark and if you are someone who's from a unity background who's from a coding background who's familiar with a similar ui of lens studio or if you're familiar with the development process uh, you should look into lens studio when you're starting and by the at the end and at the end of the, at the end of the day you will end up learning both at least to some extent because you know one is for instagram and one is for snapchat so if you want to make effects for those platforms you're going to have to learn those two softwares so yeah those are my two cents 2 rupees 2 paisa <laughs> on which software you should learn as a beginner see